Can faith save without works? Yes, otherwise no one actually could be saved. If you could be saved by faith and works, then you could have simply worked yourself into salvation, even independently of Jesus. But when we come to James chapter 2, which we had for our epistle reading, where James say, uh, when James says, if someone says he has faith but does not have works, can that faith save him? So James is saying that your faith needs to have works. So does that mean that you have to have faith and works in order to be saved? Herein lies necessary terminology. What kind of faith are we really talking about? Because if, if I say you are saved by faith, then you truly are saved by faith, and this is proclaimed in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. But we have to be careful what type of faith we're actually talking about. Because if we're talking about a simple statement of belief, that I believe that Jesus Christ died upon the cross for the sins of the entire world and he has saved the populace of the world through faith in him, that is a statement of belief that you could say is a type of faith, but you could also be making that statement as an observation. Just cut off from our reading, so James chapter 2 verse 19, the verse following our reading, James says, well, if you believe that God is one, then good for you. Even the, even the demons believe that and shudder. So we find that faith cannot be simply a statement. It has to be something that is living. A living faith, which James is trying to talk to us about. A living faith is more than just a statement. It is something that is receiving the life of Jesus Christ so that he may live in you. A living faith is alive because that faith gives to you the life of Jesus Christ. Now, James' point here with a faith that produces works, a living faith that produces works, well, if you have received the life of Jesus Christ through your living faith, what kind of life did Jesus live? Well, the life of Jesus Christ was completely in service to others, completely in service to his disciples and to all people on earth. We even find some of these works in our gospel reading, where Jesus cast out a demon, where he made a deaf mute hear and, and talk. And these things he did in service. So if we have the life of Christ given to us in faith, then your faith must have works. You're not saved by these works. It's not as though you're performing works in order to be saved or check to see if you have faith or that these things are, are necessary unto salvation, as was proclaimed by the Roman Catholic Church and why we had to denounce and break away from them in the Reformation. But... The faith that saves you, the faith that puts you into uh, fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ, that faith produces works within you. These may be small works, they may be big works, but these are works that are necessary all the same. So rather than try to focus on the works, first focus on Christ, the source of your salvation, and you will see the works flow from him. Let us pray. Thank you, O Heavenly Father, for sending to us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that he might bring about the works of his death and resurrection to save us. Please, Lord, sustain us by these works of Christ in our faith, that we may be made alive in this faith and live in service to one another. Guard us in this faith and always help us look 
to Jesus Christ our Lord. In his name we pray. Amen.